Jey Uso is here, and he is a new man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso! You look at what Jay Uso has done away from the bloodline, and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker. First man in over three years to pin Roman Reigns. Nearly defeated the Tribal Chief, went on and earned multiple titles without his family. But Jay will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself. Get ready to go the distance. Sammy is always ready for the big fight. than 100% in the ring. The WWE Universe is on their feet for Sami Zayn. We've seen so many ups and downs between Sami Zayn and Jey Uso. And tonight, these two face off one-on-one. -on -one. This match could be, dare I say, Uzi. I don't know how easy this match is going to be, Cole, but I do know we've seen these two put each other through absolute hell. Yeah, there have been a lot of laughs between Sammy and Jay, but once they're in the ring together, playtime's over. Yeah, these two know each other so well. They know each other's game plans and weaknesses. It's just going to be a matter of who can pull the trigger here, Sammy or Jay. Incoming! Ah, oh, got caught. A nice. sit-out powerbomb. Is it enough? The shoulder up at two. Able to squeeze that shoulder out so close. And he sends him into the corner. Corner, and a couple back elbows to follow. Uh oh. Had that one scouted. Sami Zayn and Jey Uso are no strangers to each other or to going all out when the time comes. Very true, Cole, but Sami's proven time and time again he has no problem pulling the trigger when it's time to make the hard decisions. And that just might be the case here. Sami can't hold back if he wants to win because I assure you, Jay definitely won't be holding back. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Going right after the neck, neck breaker. And it's Jay being on the receiving end of some fury there. Yeah, Sammy just brought the fight to him. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh my God, a DDT! Lights out. And 
Sami Zayn reverses it. In front of DDT. Bite. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I didn't think this match was close to over. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Ooh, right to the throat. Just breaking down the opponent. Knee. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila. Huh? Look, able to free the arm and roll out. Great escape. Boom, nice. And Jey Uso on the wrong end of some ruthless offense there. Zayn is up the pressure after that move. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, boom! Back drop, suplex. What a high angle, right across the shoulders. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He was elusive there. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, he fights Jay back. Beautiful athleticism. Paying it right back with a reversal. Armringer in control. Yeah. They're going to have to try to fight out of this. Sami Zayn digging deep, looking to turn the tides of this matchup. Zayn off the ropes. And Punk's awaited with a drop kick. He's going for it all. Here we go. victory over Jey Uso here. I have a feeling this is only going to create a bigger rift between these two. Yeah, Byron, decisions will be made after this match, and those will certainly have implications. This is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Breaker. 
Breaker broke down the damn door and has terrorized the competition during his young career. drive on paper all the attributes of a top talent yeah Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things Just look at this specimen, carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He is transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish warrior's battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. And Braun Breaker clearly ready for this one to get underway. One of the more impressive young superstars in the company today. Oh yeah, Braun Breaker's aptitude at such an early point in his career isn't something that should be understated. Flattening his opponents is written in his DNA. Some could even say he's a genetic freak and he's not normal when he steps into the squared circle. You're right, Byron. Breaker comes into every match with the agenda of decimating his opponents. Tonight should be no different. But let's take some time to discuss the warrior in the ring. Part of what makes McIntyre exceptional is the raw intensity he brings to the ring. You just look at him and you can feel his drive, his motivation to topple every foe that gets in his way. I'd go so far as to call Drew McIntyre's determination scary at times. Drew doesn't care what he has to endure to get the win. He's here for victory at all costs. All the way up, sidewalk slam delivered. Off into the pin. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Drew McIntyre is such a presence in and out of the ring. We've often seen him go into a match with his heart more than his head. Will that be a problem for him here, Corey? If McIntyre can keep his emotions in check and use his head, he'll be in great position for the win. But when McIntyre loses his temper, he tends to leave himself open to attack. Oh, man! He's taking some good hits. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Really just laying it in. Constant pressure being kept on Braun. Like I was saying earlier, Cole, McIntyre was able to keep his head clear and emotions in check. He's in a great position right now. Into the barricade. <laughs> this one is headed outside, guys. Oh, and Breaker turns the tables. 
And now thrown back into the ring. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Counters on counters, technical prowess on display. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. That dodge can buy Drew time. Drew that's how you dominate your opponent. Offense like that is why Drew McIntyre's a game changer. Scary to think what Drew has in store next. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Oh my goodness, into the power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Bam! Uh-oh. Reversal! What a counter! Braun's finally able to slow all that incoming offense. Brief sign of adrenaline from Braun. Braun Breaker setting him up for the military press. Boom! Military press power slam. Can that finish McIntyre? Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. McIntyre's been taken to the deep waters, but he's proving to be someone nearly impossible to keep down. And Breaker cannot believe that wasn't enough to put him away. Beautiful gator roll. Great way to disorient your opponent. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Uh-oh. Oh, he retaliates. Sequence of reversals there. Counters with an attack on Breaker. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Kick to the gut. Arms hooked. Future shot from McIntyre. That might be all Drew needs. Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew. Drew McIntyre is your winner tonight. Can't say I expected to see a guy like Breaker get defeated like this. Like. Taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! I'd like to preface this by saying Corey Graves' comments about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. 
That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend. His past destroyed. Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. Here comes a high-flying feed on. This is going to be fun to watch. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard hitting truths. I like this guy. Gentlemen, keep your eyes on the skies when Nathan Frazier competes. Yeah, you're going to see something special while you're looking up there, no doubt about it. Folks, you are in for a treat. Nathan Frazier is ready for takeoff, so be sure not to blink. Moving at the speed of light, Fraser's athleticism is off the charts. And once he builds up that speed, oh boy, good luck keeping up. Very true, Byron. But some say that even more impressive is his relentlessness. Fraser will never back down, never give up, never stop. And he's got quite the challenge in front of him as he's facing a newly refreshed Baron Corbin. We've seen Corbin go through a lot of changes and phases here in WWE, but we're finally seeing his truest self shine through. And that true self is dangerous as hell. And gets tossed back into the mat. Ah, uh, Cobra Clutch! Slam! Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. And he stonewalls Corbin. Stomp in the leg. The better part of Valor. And back in the ring we go. Moves outside, what's the plan here? Whatever's plan here can't be good. Lands face first. Corbin strike hits the mark. Heavy duty blow. For all his heart, it looks like Frazier may have hit his limit. Baron looking to push the advantage after that. Going up against Corbin requires sound strategy and focus. You can't take your eye off Corbin for a second because you can find yourself the victim of an all-out assault. Now you need a ring awareness that's off the charts just to survive Corbin's fury. Know where you are at all times and do not get trapped in a corner. If that happens, Corbin will use his Gold Gloves boxing experience to rain lefts and rights on you for days. Spine Buster! Nighty night. Oof! Kick finds it. Fraser becoming a bloody mess in there. To the back of the neck. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Vicious right forearm. Ducking out of trouble. Not the position you want to be in right now. Stunning to this could do it. A kick out before three. Pushed out into the defensive. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. And Frazier able to reverse that. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. 
torturous focus on the length in the corner. Payne must be shooting through that leg now. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Playing possum. Shoulders down. Just kicks out. And frustration might be starting to set in. Inverted face lock into an elbow drop. And shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up in one. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Big forearm. Breaker. <laughs> Knife edge chop. <laughs> Kick. He had it scouted. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. He turns it around on Corbin. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, Knife edge. Byron, I thought this superstar was down and out. Whoa. Perhaps not. Yeah, you and me both. Look out. match completely around. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Springboard moonsault. Not done yet. How about the headlock elbow drop? And Nathan Frazier capitalized with that move. A big reward for him there. And Frazier able to reverse that. Able to give him the slip. Big punch finds its mark. Neither superstar giving an inch here. Ooh. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. And that's going to put Frazier on the wrong course. This match is reaching a tipping point, and Corbin can feel it. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all around. Ooh. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Fist, neither one relenting here. Oh, getting the bell with that exchange. Uh oh, end of days. Incredible. That could be Frazier's demise. It's over. Corbin did it. Here is your winner. It's a win for Baron Corbin. I know Corbin wanted this bad. He wanted to make a statement. Message received. Don't mess with Baron Corbin.
Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, two women who are not here to make friends. Who needs friends when you're destined for greatness like they are? When Chelsea and Piper joined forces, it wasn't exactly a well-thought-out plan. Most people within WWE and on social media didn't think this would work out at all. I should be surprised by you two, Matthew and Brian. Whatever it is, you can't argue with results. This duo is big and bad. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo and fire dog. Fire and Dawn, not a team you want to cross. Have no problem cursing the competition like actually casting curses. Yeah, you know, Cole, I heard Saxton actually had a full head of hair before he met Alba and Isla. Hey, I still do. A lot of it. The Unholy Union, as dangerous as they are disturbing. Fire and Don ready to conjure up a win. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. And their opponents, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea. The WWE Women's Tag Titles are up for grabs here tonight. This is sure to be a momentous match. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and Dawn can lead to a treacherous outcome for opponents. And they are facing the surprising duo of Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Surprising? Don't you know who that is, Brian? That's Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. One of the most dominant tag teams in the history of WWE. The only thing surprising is they allowed you to observe them. Brian, it's Byron. Oh, disrespectful shove there. <laughs> Quick thinking from Piper. Shot right to the kidney. Here it comes. The rack attack. Boom. For the 
title. She kicks out at one. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Tagged in. That's not right. Understanding that winning the title is all that matters. Do anything to get the advantage. Into the corner now. Uh-oh. Oh, she responds with a counter. Champions with some of their signature teamwork. Has the challenger pinned? Is this it? And still hanging on. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. So she tags in. Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you.
plant. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Drop toe hole. Don perhaps lost a bit of her focus there. Counters right back on Chelsea. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Knife edge chop. Oh, solid form. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. My God, enough. Switching it up. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. <gasps> Hooked up. She pops the shoulder up in one. Amazing effort by her. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Oh, stop right to the hand. She's tagged in. Sent into the corner. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Solely focused on... Ooh. Knees meet. Back. The champ shoulders are down. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Double big back body drop. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Champion with a quick shoulder up. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. Just disrespectful. Oh, what a fall! My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. There's the tag. And all eyes are on Alba now. Tag made. Tag made. Tossed into the corner. Knife edge chop. Flying quick to counter. Using the ropes. Oh, what a kick. is made tandem offense on the horizon here what do these two have in mind for their opponent oh look at this it's a oh, and face first with a flatliner gonna see a new champ oh i thought it was over but again can we please get some control a little cockiness here from don Oh, vicious headbutt. How are these women keeping this 
intensity. How are they not entirely drained by now? Pure adrenaline's got to be taken over. It's the only explanation. through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Oh! She gets the tag. Wants her set up in the corner. This won't be good for Alba. What a splash! I think the champ's got it. Champions need to finish the job. Makes a cover. Teammate makes the save. And just in time. Chelsea just rubbing it in now. And set. Tag is made. Tandem offense on the horizon here. What do these two have in mind for their opponent? Oh, look at this. It's a... A goy flatliner, wow! We could have a new champion! Maybe not! Chelsea Green laying down the gauntlet for their opponent. 
It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. Clothesline. Oh, sit out slam. What a match this has been. What a fight. And we are all glad to be witnessing such an extraordinary match tonight. Toss back into the ring. And she slides her back to the mat. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven, your winners 
These two looking like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division. Mello is money. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. You hear him say it. You hear the fans say it. Mello, don't miss. Now, for once, I agree with you, Saxton. Any goal Hayes sets his sights on, he tends to accomplish in short order. And that has only fueled Carmelo's confidence. He believes he was destined for the big time from the very start of his career. Well, he does a good job proving just that when he gets inside the ring. Time for Mello to make that money. Well, this just went from a match to a fight. seen before what Dragunov is capable of, and it is scary. This superstar has a tall order in Carmelo Hayes tonight. Melo's proven to be a very adaptable opponent, so this guy needs to be on his toes. Ilya Dragunov ready to bring his aggressive style to his opponent here tonight. Dragunov has to be one of the toughest competitors in WWE. Few can match his intense and relentless approach to competition. I don't know how he manages it, but Ilya Dragunov always seems to be on the attack, even when being attacked. Certainly a dangerous competitor for anyone who steps into the ring with him. I expect we'll see that signature style of Dragunov on full display tonight. Melo's not shook by big pressure situations. He's got the confidence and the firepower to change the complexion of a match with one move. Carmelo Hayes knows when he comes out of that corner, the time for talk is over, and it's all about him. Suplex launched. Right there. 
He heads outside. Countoff's legal in this match. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. He switches it back around. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, kick connects. Tough position to be caught in here. My goodness! Oh. And then look at that! And now gets tossed into the ring. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. So ruthless. This could be it, cover! No time getting his shoulder up. Staying in this one. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. This match grinded him down a little. Excellent display of the raw talent Hayes possesses. Trap the arm. Into the neck breaker. <laughs> Boom! What a right. Gosh. Hayes on the wrong side of that exchange. the hammer right on the lower back oh. and he goes for the pin kick out close to three not yet oh no it's roll up Kick out before the one count. Staying in this one. DDT plants then. Able to avoid any harm there. Driving. Will this be enough? And he easily stops the ref's count. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Dragunov getting put to the test with that hit. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Back suplex. Big impact. Hayes quick to counter. Slice bread. Oh, his shoulders are down. Oh, he kicked out. He really thought that was it. Senton. He steers clear of contact. DDT. Drop kick hits the mark. He is delivering elbow after elbow. close to ending it all there. And that holds Dragunov back. 
Up and around we go. Tilt the world. Face buster. Moves like that is why Carmelo has the confidence that he has. Done without a sweat. People simply can't do the things Melo does. We are seeing these men leaving it all. Hayes in full control. Suplex into a car. Can Hayes put things away here? Pin. He kicks out somehow. The amount of damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in this thing. How draining was that? Can it be done again? Can that maneuver be summoned at least one more time? Carmelo dodges in time. This has been an epic encounter. These fans are sending the decibel level off the scale. Off to the outside. Oh man, he's ready to go. What's he gonna do here? They're gonna go in high risk. Here we go. Full head of speed. Suicide down. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Comes crashing down. Hoisting up their opponent. Wow, what a spine buster. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And he's taking this to the outside now. And he slides him back to the mat. What a bullseye! <laughs> Up and down! What a slam! Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Oh, look out. Melo, don't miss. Nothing but net. Will that stop Dragunov? There's two. Not picking up the victory as his opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. An impressive win for Carmelo Hayes. The fire that burns inside Dragunov was just extinguished. The question is, will he be able to reignite it moving forward? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship.
Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring general, Guter. Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. This group has been unstoppable. Look at that formation. Completely in sync, like a finely tuned watch. Here comes Apollo Crews. A man who has evolved to his purest form. A former United States champion Won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, but Cruz was still struggling to find himself. Yeah, but now that Cruz has found himself, all of WWE is on notice. I think we're going to see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills. Now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. Introducing the challenger from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds. And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. The Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers, the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. It certainly has a history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. Known to put superstars on the map. All facts that these men know very well. There he goes, right into the corner. By the throat into the top rope. Oof. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. Tremendous impact. What a move by the champion. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. 
rip it at the eyes. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Yeah, on the apron. This is this is getting out of hand. Don't do this. All the way to the outside. It has to be tough being as rigid as Gunther is. You have to wonder if Gunther is going to bend or break here tonight. Cole, you wouldn't understand the higher standard that Gunther holds himself to. There's a reason why he has been so internationally successful and he hasn't broken yet. When you hold yourself to his level, you're just better, plain and simple. Wow, Cruz throws a hard punch. Badly ringside and our announce table getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. We're going to have a new champion. Pick. the leg. Oh, what an uppercut. Sharing. So much damage inflicted. Apollo is going full tilt here. Gunther needs to cause some separation. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Able to reverse. Apollo looking to take to the sky. Up high. Whoa, cross body. Throwing all costs into the wind in pursuit of the title. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. It's almost... Guys, this is what makes Apollo so devastating. Yeah, the ability to quicken the pace. This is where Apollo Crews thrives. Gunther moved at the right time. Uh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Doling out as much damage as possible. Looking to silence the challenger once and for all. Nicely done. Picking up speed off the rope. Oh, a hip rock to the gut. Gunter from behind. Looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Good night. Will this match end on a submission, on a tap? And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Reversed on Apollo. In clothesline. To the outside. This could get wild. Control here, face first. The champ looking out of sorts. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Oh man, drop kick. Caught with the lariat. 
Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. Uh-oh. There's Gunther with a counter. Oh, straight forearm. Beautiful standing shooting star. Got the leg and elbow drop. Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. Yeah, Cruz is really grinding the opposition down. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Placed in the corner. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Gunther wants to finish this. He's driven down with the power bomb. The tire is going nowhere. Kiss your drink. Try as you might. You just can't get the title off. Gunther. Here is your winner. And still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunther. Crucial victory as he retains the title. This was a great title defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not be kept down in this one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. One of the top names in women's independent wrestling, Zoe Stark. Now looking to prove herself in WWE. You know, Stark has had plenty of championship gold in NXT, but did not miss a step when joining the main roster and continuing her dominance on the biggest stages. And that's because Zoe has the attitude you need to be a success in WWE. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. Here comes trouble in the form of damage control. You're right about that, Saxton. This is one of the most dangerous groups around. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Dominance, thy name is damage control.
Introducing the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! And her opponent from Tokyo, Japan, the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky! Taking one final look at the title. WWE Universe anxiously awaiting the sound of the bell. Should be a hell of a match. There's the bell and it's on. The WWE Women's Championship represents everything these women stand for as athletes. Look, the hype's in the rearview mirror. It's time to buckle up because there's nothing like being on this stage throwing down for the highest of prizes in the game. Stumps taking all their frustrations. Here's the pin title on the line. Raising the arm before one. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Standing moonsault gets all of it. Why not look like a million bucks when hitting something that effective? To the sky. Nobody home for that one. Big forearm. Set up in the corner of the ring. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Uh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. High cross body. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Unhinged offense from Stark's arsenal. And don't just look at that as showing off. The revolution involved in that move makes the impact so much more devastating. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Nice rolling fireman's carry. Zoe Stark refuses to ever back down from a fight, but taking on anyone at any time sometimes means you're in a fight with minimal preparation. Good point, Corey. If you're up against Stark, you need to do more homework on her than she's done on you. Into the knee drop. And into the count. the match that could have gone either way taking it outside the ring now Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Uh-oh. Able to interrupt the attack. Count out a minute. She needs to get back in. Out of the ring. She has to mind the 10 count. Counter from Stark. Utilizing a little pen check slap. Turn out the lights. Zoe overcoming any adversity and taking the fight to her opponent. Throw him back in under the ropes. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is safe for her client. And Io gets pounced on. Well-framed standing moonsault. She still has life. She just will not go away. Zoe setting it up. On the mark with Z360. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Looking for the victory. What? You've got to be kidding me. 
I'm absolutely stunned. A display of near superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going to take. Back and forth we go. Nice takedown. Start telling her opponent to bring it. Yeah, Io inflicting real damage here. Basement drop kick. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Sky able to steer clear. champion. This is going to come down to who wants it more. High impact crossbody. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. We could be moments away from Sky's doom. Impressive reversal there. Here looking for a submission face first. Koji clutch applied. Oh my goodness, critical point of the matchup. It could be over right here. She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, an elbow does the job. Face plant. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, right to the throat. display of power. Uh-oh, the end is near. No way. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Looking for a high-risk move. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Perched up top. Turns it around with awesome power. Delivering nasty stumps. Double leg takedown. Stop. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. And one more for good measure. As the leg trapped, Fisherman suplex. Big counter by Sky. She's going up. Top rope here. Up high. Over the moonsault by Io Sky. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Relief on the face of Io Sky for retaining her title. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky. She still holds the gold. What a battle. The champion was faced with a formidable adversary, but was able to overcome the challenge.
Make way for the man. A woman who's done it all, but always wants a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. She is as tough as they come. Yeah, these days the outfits may be a little fancier, but the passion in Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. Well, you could say that Becky Lynch has carved out a Hall of Fame career simply because she has believed in herself every step of the way. She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella has proven herself as one of the most talented in-ring competitors. But according to Carmella and Corey, she's also the best looking. According to many people, Cole, you clearly just don't speak to the right people. Well, Byron told me she wasn't best looking. Why are you being a snitch, Michael? Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moonwalking, the trash talking remains, and let's be honest, I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. Both these superstars have been very vocal on social media. Becky's saying, quote, I'm not a cheerleader or a failed hairdresser, and I haven't practiced the moonwalk since the 90s, but I am what matters the most, hashtag the man. The nerve. Listen, I know real well about being vocal on social media. Some say I can't shut up, but Becky Lynch is throwing stones in a glass house, okay? Who is she to talk about anyone's past career choice? Becky had like 30 different jobs before she got to WWE. I just think you're still a bit salty from the wrath the man delivered towards you, Corey, on social media. And I don't think some say you can't shut up, Corey. I think everyone says it. I do. Ouch. Effective arm drag. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Rolling neck snap. Oh, the death lock applied. Submission move. Oh, we got to see a tap. Setting it up. Look at this inverted figure four. That's got to hurt. Well, Carmella is certainly being tested now. Carmella eludes that. Hooked up. Fisherman suplex. Cover two. She was close to the end there. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. The man is taking charge. Carmella's got to slow down this assault. How do you see this one unfolding, Corey? Oh, Carmella's very cagey, very crafty inside the ring. And you know what? As much as Becky Lynch likes to call herself the man, that's predicated on being able to dominate. If Becky truly wants to be recognized as the man, she has to win matches like this one. Big slam. Extending their opponent's arm out. Big leg drop. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. That was a big time onslaught from Lynch. Oh! 
Mella just can't seem to stop this offense. Lynch is being smart and not letting up. That's a free fall. Cover, cover. And the kick out by Becky Lynch. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Becky able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out. Becky Lynch rolls through, and she's right into the... And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there. This is a unique application of a hammerlock. Oh. Lynch is keeping the pressure on. Mel is being systematically worked on. If this works, it can... Oh, my God! She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. And a slap, too. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. Hold on. She could be looking for a submission move here. I'm not sure she can escape by this. And yeah, she does. Turns the tides. Oh, meet me in the basement. I've got a foot to the face for you. And gets tossed back into the back. She's fighting back. Let's under it. Go behind. German suplex turns the tides. Drops a leg. Picking up speed. A second leg drop with a twist. Vicious knee. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. What a performance and what a win. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Carmella tried to shut Becky up, but she found out, like so many others, you don't cross the man. Oh boy, lucky us. Now we get to hear Becky congratulate herself for the next week.
When the lights go out, you must run. Bray Wyatt has arrived. Such an eerie and mysterious feeling in here. And the mind games of Wyatt have only just begun. Somehow this superstar's got to find a way to just shut things down for AJ Styles. Shut down his total offensive repertoire if he hopes to come out of here with a win. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ the most dominant club in the world. Marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. Can this guy match the power experience in the mind games of Bray Wyatt. We'll start with Bray Wyatt, and really, what can you possibly say about him that hasn't already been said? Many have tried, and all have failed. Bray Wyatt is one of those superstars who truly can't be classified. The best I've heard was calling him a human tornado, leaving a path of destruction for himself and others. About as close as we're ever going to get when it comes to this enigma of a man. And then there's AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. He's a competitor who has always been his own man. He's played by his rules and stayed true to himself throughout his career. That's right, AJ's cut his own path through the industry. He's always aimed high and he rarely misses his target. I'm sure he's got big aspirations for this match as well. Ouch. Top of the elbow. Showing off his aerial magic. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Snap suplex, very effective. 
AJ Styles, of course, known for his athleticism and tenacity, but Corey, what's the biggest key to success for the phenomenal one here tonight? If I have to choose just one aspect of Styles' game, Cole, I'd say it's that tenacity you mentioned, that pit bull mentality of Styles. At the end of the day, that's going to be the thing that allows him to stand on his own two feet heading out of this match. And targeting the leg there. Looks like Bray held back at his urges, and it just cost him dearly. There's some of that world-traveled savvy from Styles. Come on, AJ caught him. And he's able to reverse. A big punch. Ouch. Oh, jeez, you might break a neck that way. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Improving a bit slippery for them there. What a neck breaker. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. All right, here we go. In front of DDT. Biked. There's return fire on AJ. Wyatt had him out of sorts and capitalized. That's just what he does, Saxton. Goodness gracious. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Where, where's Wyatt going now? Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? Look at. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. <laughs> Elbow throw. Set. AJ Styles rolls through. Here it comes. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Just scrubbing the face on the canvas. What an elbow drop for added measure. Sight set on the top rope. Taking flight. Diving body splash. It could be over here. This is it. the W. Bray Wyatt wins it. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. AJ Styles dropping the ball tonight. If I know Styles, he'll be going over this match tape later on and reevaluating his strategy. Yeah, we can't count AJ out just yet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship.
make way for the It Couple. Miz and Maurice are one of the most dominant pairs the entertainment world has ever seen. In the ring, on TV, on the red carpet, they are always a force to be reckoned with. They certainly do know how to keep themselves in front of the camera and soak up the spotlight. No denying that, Maurice and The Miz have made themselves inescapable. Ladies and gentlemen, the social media icon has arrived. There are folks in the crowd, on social media, heck, even backstage, who resent Logan Paul because he's a celebrity who shot to WWE superstar. Well, some people believe Paul didn't pay his dues and he's an entitled celebrity. You know what? Those people can put in the work to make themselves a star like Logan Paul did. Until then, shut your mouth and immerse yourself in the Logan Paul experience because he's serving it up. Put your hard hats on. Logan Paul's about to go to work, and someone's about to catch some hands. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds. The Miz! And his opponent, from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul! Forty. 5 years of history behind that the United States championship There is a certain excitement that a United States Championship match has. It's hard to nail down exactly what it is. I know what you mean, Byron, whether defending or challenging for the U.S. title, superstars seem to go the extra mile. He's been placed in the corner now. Close line in the corner! Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Into the pin attempt. Stops the count before it, too. This isn't even close to over. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Close line. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And this one might be headed ringside. And he stonewalls Logan. Oh, he knew what was coming. The Miz taught Logan Paul everything that he knows. 
but I think we all know Miz always has so much more underneath his sleeves. I imagine that Miz's game plan in this one will be to bust out some of the moves we don't usually see him do. Maybe prove he can be just as flashy and athletic as his former protege. If anyone can do it, it's The Miz. He's made a career out of surprising his doubters, Logan Paul included. Miz escapes damage. Would you look at this? She's removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh, well scouted by Paul. Able to avoid there. Oh, had that well scouted. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. There's some power behind that punch. Oh, what a wind up. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. And he cuts bait, slipping out of the ring. Shut up, Saxton. This is just a small regrouping. Take it to the floor. What's she going to do? Ooh, hoo, hoo. the champion into the cover. A close count for the challenger. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh, this is going to be great. Looking for the second, and now perhaps again. That's two. And perhaps the trifecta with the three amigos. Wait, 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 wait. Well, the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Eats a punch to the face. It's the barrage of strikes. Oh, right, right. Uh-oh. Can't quite get him there. Look right side now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Ooh, stiff punch. Caught with a punch. And Miz gets stopped in his tracks. Right to the gut. From behind. Six up. Inverted DDT. Here's a pin for the title. Almost two and a half. Somehow, some way. There's some power behind that punch. Overhand connects. Logan Paul able to avoid impact. Great reversal. Oh, the reversal by Logan Paul. Shots to the body. Heavy hands. Oh, what an intense striking combination. Uh, shots to the body. Just striking at will. To the gut. Logan Paul, I can't believe he's going to attempt this. There's one. Paul spins the hips. Paying homage, of course, to Eddie Guerrero. Delivers a second. And now Logan Paul looking for. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. The champ not looking great right now. You can tell the Miz was calculating that attack for a while. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? And of an act breaker, Vintage Miz. Oh, Scott Punch. Nasty. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. fast. 
He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Thrown back in under the ropes. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. Champion. Here is your winner, and still WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul. A successful title defense for him tonight. A pretty impressive defense. Challengers might think twice before coming at him now. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because LA Knight is here. Yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. This guy has never met a spotlight he didn't like, but I'll give credit where it's due. When you're as good as L.A. Knight, you shine bright naturally. He's back! And his opponent, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 200. 18 pounds. CM Punk! Well, CM Punk made his return with a flood of emotions, but he knows he now has unfinished business and a story of his own to complete. After nearly a decade away from WWE, Punk can still compete at a high level, and he'll need that with today's competitors. A polarizing figure, but Punk is determined to be the best. I gotta tell you, it still feels so surreal to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. Never say never in WWE and CM Punk is ready to prove himself all over again.
Here we have CM Punk, the self-proclaimed best in the world, but even his biggest detractors would have to admit he's got the resume to back that claim up. Absolutely. Iconic matches against legendary superstars, shocking championship victories, long title reigns. Punk has done it all, and he's ready to do it all again. A big win here certainly would help silence those haters and help cement his claims. And he's facing off against one of the biggest egos in WWE, L.A. Knight. While there's no shortage of confidence in L.A. Knight, Corey, he's earned every ounce of it. He spent years honing his abilities to become the paragon of a superstar we see in the ring. And L.A. Knight is turning to the crowd for a shot. Oh, man. Snap suplex. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. What a double-handed chop. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. And now gets tossed into the ring. Him. We've seen how damaging pile drivers can be, and that one looked particularly painful. Oh, and Knight fights back. Brutal boot. Oh, what a kick. He moved, but can he capitalize? Northern Lights. Bad predicament right here. Showing up that time with a stiff attack. And Corey, it's something some superstars might discount, but when you're in the ring with CM Punk, you just have to accept his ability to get the crowd on his side. The smart thing to do when you're in there with Punk is to drown out all the noise. Focus on the man, not his masses. Now a series of vicious stumps. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Able to evade. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. Surprise with that clothesline. He is delivering elbow after elbow. You're a nagi by Punk. He turns it into the Anaconda. A couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. Drawing down. Close to a count out here. Taking this to the floor. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. He turns it around. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. He connected right on the jaw. Kick to the lower back. Whip back into the ring. Target is set on LA. He's in peril. Arm ringer. Their opponent in a compromising position, but. Fighting back, however, punches in the midsection. Strike. I like that. Cover. Manages to escape before the three count. That was a long two count there. And Punk gets countered there. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Knee drop. 
Knight is fixed on him now. LA Knight kick to the gun. BFT. Will Knight end this? For the win. Two count. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner. This has to be a tough loss for CM Punk. Few people hate losing as much as CM Punk does. Yeah, you can see the frustration on his face. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship. The crowd is on their feet for the Empress of Tomorrow. Charismatic, cunning, and commanding. A superstar in every sense of the word. Oh, yeah! It always seems the higher the stakes, the more powerful the Empress becomes. Asuka is always on point. She can shut your lights out in the blink of an eye. And you've always got to be wary of the poison mist. If you want to earn respect, if you want to make a name for yourself in the women's division, you got to go through the Empress. A truly destructive force, a buzzsaw in the women's division. If you are lacing them up against Asuka, be prepared for the fight of your life. Alert the authorities, Dom Dom and Mommy have arrived. Oh, jeez, not this again. Cole, pay your respect to the modern-day Bonnie and Clyde. So, some have called Rhea Ripley the leader of the Judgment Day. So I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet. And they're already so smug. 
You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like mommy. Fast-paced, hard-hitting action in store against Asuka. So either keep up or set the pace. Referee letting our competitors take one final look at what this match will be all about. The decorated Women's World Championship. All eyes are on this match for the Women's World Championship. With this kind of prize on the line, you just know this will be a knockdown, drag out fight. I'd expect nothing less. These women are convinced that this is their moment, their time, that this title is theirs for the taking. Boom! Thanks for coming. Foot to the lower back. Look at all these oh my God. The champ just striking at will. Merciless display towards the challenger. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Oh, quite an effective counter. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Oh, repeated headbutts. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. I notice Rhea Ripley likes to get right down to business in the ring. How do you compete against someone who likes to come out swinging and control the tempo of the match? Well, you have to come out swinging just as hard, if not harder. Matching Ripley blow for blow might be the only way to convince her that you're a serious threat. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. What a right suplex. Squaring off right by our announce table. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Oh, and a stomp right to the back. A bad place to be for the challenger. Ripley delivered that move with every ounce of spite in her body. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. To the outside. This could get wild. Face first off the knee. Good defense. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. 
And we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You could say that again. Time to get the let out. What's coming next? He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Counters! Going for the neck breaker. Able to break the hole into a neck breaker of their own. Oscar timed that one well. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Great response to Ripley there. Ripley gets her back. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and, and a series of vicious stomps. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. I love the champion's minds. For the win to retain the championship! And she fights it off. She just won't stay down. The champ with a surprisingly quick kick out. I'm having a hard time believing that one. And well-timed maneuver there. Kick to the stomach. Strong kick. My goodness. Ripley's strength being nullified with moves like that. Boom. Ooh. Foot landing directly on the face. Punishing stretch. Well measured. Uh, nobody is ready for Asuka right now. What tenacity from Ripley's opposition. Not letting Rhea take control of this match and make it a one-sided fight. She manages to get control. Planet face first. We're talking about Rhea's true self. Well, that was a brutal example of what that means. Two. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. She's able to successfully defend her title tonight. A tremendous victory by the champion, showing us exactly what she's made of. Give credit to the champion. She studied her opponent and was ready for whatever was thrown her way to retain their title. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship.
make way for the head of the table. I think we can all agree we are seeing a once-in-a-lifetime competitor. Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance, dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated. You gotta be aware of Rollins' mean streak. It's ruthless and long. Rollins will do whatever it takes to win if this superstar has got to have the same mindset. Symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT champion. The first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. Introducing the challenger from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed. WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns! And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, 
the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Those watching at home, freeze this moment in time because everything's about to change in just a few seconds. A championship match like this tends to do such things. These superstars know that only high-level performers get this spotlight. The World Heavyweight Championship is up for grabs in this matchup. Who will end tonight as the champion? Who will come out on top? Saw that coming. Nasty kick to the face. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Good golly, what a knee. Look at this. Snap suplex. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. And Reigns reverses. Uh-oh. Makes him pay with a counter. Big forearm. Oh! Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. position here. Oh, there's that killer instinct you need to have if you want to become the champ. Showing no mercy. Given the amount of history Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins have together, they must know the other man's game plan inside and out. This is why old friends make such interesting enemies. Reigns and Rollins know how to counter each other better than anybody. Hopefully, they each have some surprises in mind to compensate for that. Look ringside now, guys. This manager's doing something very suspicious. Come on, the challenger! Big kick out. The end was in sight. Just like that, Rollins dodges. to keep this matchup going. What now? Stomp to the belly. Oh, that might have just broken something. And Zagiri finds its mark. Reigns is getting dismantled here. Yeah, Rollins is giving Roman Reigns his very best shots. Enough already. Place stomp to the arm. Now that'll do some serious damage. Connecting with a sharp elbow. The challenger not looking good right now. Set with an absolutely predatory attack there. And into the count. There's two. No, he pops the shoulder before three. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. And finds a counter. Shifted. Two. And the kick out. Based on what we just saw, I think this match is far from over. Who knows what that kick out cost? The champ might be running on fumes. It's not often we see the tribal chief held up in the one yard line. Yep. Take down. Takedown. Looking for the cross face. Gets cinched in. Looking to free the arm and does just that. Count it 
two. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Caught with that sharp elbow. Switched it up and hit the DDT. Look at this, going counter for counter. Put in a position now. Launch face first. Nothing he can do. You're loving! And Roman continues to attack with ferocity as this match goes on. Yeah, Rollins has been broken down over the course of this match. He is looking to do some serious harm. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Chucking his opponent to the outside, surveying the situation, picking up speed. No answer! Wrecking ball! Drop kick. And this one might be headed ringside, taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope. Uh oh, the forearm's gonna cut off the win. Now the guillotine choke is taking out so many superstars. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment. He is desperately trying to maneuver out of this and successfully does. Spear by Reigns. The title might change hands. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns are out. Absolutely. Uh oh. New champion. Got it. New champion. Here is your winner and the new world heavyweight champion. He came for the title, and he got it. Talk about history in the making. This is literally one for the history books, and we got to witness it up close and personal. Stop making this about you, Saxton. This is about the new champ. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one.
Well, the Judgment Day quite simply will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. The following champion versus champion contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. And their opponents at a combined weight of 501 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sikoa. The Bloodline! Here we go, gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins. Here we go with the Judgment Day in the ring. This group causes chaos and destruction wherever they go, all in the pursuit of amassing as much power as they can. Judgment Day is a legitimate threat to anyone in WWE. They have the numbers, the talent, and they will smash any superstar in their way. Yeah, Judgment Day won't rest until there's nobody left to oppose them, until they have completely taken over WWE. They are a well-oiled machine that can run a seminar in tag team wrestling. They certainly pose a real threat to their competition who might have a difficult time matching their chemistry. He went right into that turnbuckle. Just non-stop blows. Oof, pounding the breadbasket. Off oh, Balor with the counter. Oh, knee, meet back of neck. Cross the shoulders, up and gut check by Finn. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Now look at his aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. A complete lack of sportsmanship from the challenger there. Catches a punch. And out to the middle. Fuck oh, man! Double super kick. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Getting set up for something in the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. How's that for a counter?
Tag is made. What's going to happen here? Boom! Off the boot. The challenger is getting battered. Going to be hard to answer back. Oh, cover by the champ! Kick out at one for the challenger. Not time to expect victory yet. Able to elude it. Reversal on top of reversal.
saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. He went right into that turnbuckle. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Oh, my goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough! And he tosses him back in now. Oh, boom! From the top! Oh, he paid for that one! Oh, man, big time. Ooh. Now, that'll do some serious damage. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Now look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. The champ's shoulders are down. Got it. No, just a two. He just won't give up. These combatants have stretched their limits here at the show. Win or lose. This is where Finn Balor's at home. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is shifted. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. Balor still has the tools to get the job done. He has to remain confident and keep focused now. Shifts it back onto him. Oof, nails the midsection. It's gonna hook the champion into the cover. He's able to beat a two count. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Oh, just gouging the face. Ripping and tearing at the face. In off the tag. And he sends him into the corner. Looking for more damage here. Ow. At least back suplex. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Just stretching out the arm. And the punishing streak of Sokoa just got a bit halted. Tags made. Whips across the ring. Double shoulder block. Sweeps the legs. Stop. Strikes with a kick. Priest has his opponent up. Ah. Crucifix powerbomb. Gonna 
see a new champ. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Priest has his opponent up. Solo getting out of harm's way. And the energy in here is raising the hairs on the back of my neck. Now a pin for the championship. And the ref stops the count. A arm bar just stretching out the arm. Placing them into the corner. Foot to the midsection. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Alley oop! And off the tag is Jimmy Uso. Heading up, he's thinking big. Uso. Uso splash! Looks like the champ is going to retain. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been an absolute war out there. These superstars' efforts are not lost on this crowd. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Jimmy Uso commanding respect from all of the WWE Universe. Hammering down on the knee. Great strength being shown here. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Gotta hurt. Uh oh. Well scattered reversal there. Super kick. Jimmy Uso is feeling it. He is getting that energy level back up. Got the tag, got the tag. Oh. Moving into the cover of the title on the line. New champion, new champion. Yes, they did it. New tag team champs. Here are your winners. And the new Raw Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Davey.